The false discovery rate is calculated by dividing the number of false positives by the total number of positive tests. To help us understand this equation, we are going to imagine that a group of people are being tested for a disease. This yellow line represents a cutoff level for a test. To the left of the line, the test returns negative, and to the right, it returns positive. Since the false discovery rate only takes into consideration people who test positive, we are going to focus on the squares to the right of the yellow line. When trying to determine the false discovery rate, we only need to use the top row of the sample table. This row is used for people who tested positive. In the left box, we have the true positives, in the middle box, the false positives, and on the right, the total number of positive tests. Counting the squares, we find that there are 53 true positives, 7 false positives, and 60 positive tests in total. Now all that's left to do is enter the data into the equation. In doing so, we find that the false discovery rate is 7 over 60, which is 12%. Once more, the false discovery rate is calculated by dividing the number of false positives by the total number of positive tests. 